Hi, it's Molly McDonald of DemoGirl.com, and I'm going to give you a quick tour of Dropio. Dropio allows you to create private spaces called drops that you can use to share files, photos, video, audio, and more with exactly whom you want, how you want, for as long as you want. You can get started right away without signing up and make as many drops as you want. Each drop comes with 100 megabytes of storage for free, but you can pay a small amount to upgrade your drops to store far more. First, give your drop a name. This will be the drop's address once it's created. Then, optionally, select the files you would like to upload. You can select multiple files by holding down the control button while selecting them. If you like, you can add a guest password, which others will need to see your drop. Choose when you want your drop to be deleted, anywhere from a day from now to a year from the last time the drop is viewed. You can also select the permissions you'd like other people viewing the drop to have. You can decide if you want others to be able to add to your drop, comment on your drop, or even delete things from your drop. When you have your settings the way you would like, all you need to do is click on Drop It. This may take a few moments as Dropio uploads your files and creates a converted version for easy web viewing. Once your drop is created, you can choose to create an admin password. You don't need to do this, but it's usually a very good idea if you want to maintain more permissions than anyone with the guest password and if you want to use the admin panel to update settings and customize your drop. So this is the drop I created, and these are the files I uploaded. We're viewing this drop in Media View, but you can also view it in a Blog View, a System View, and many others. Each drop space you create has its own address that you can share with colleagues or friends and a series of ways to put more content into the drop if you would like. Each drop also has its own email address so you can email and MMS files directly in. And a private voicemail number so you can call and leave voice messages which are saved as MP3s directly in the drop. Each drop also comes with a private conference call line for meetings and can send and receive faxes. Of course, you can also add more files, notes, and links. You can also share content as it is added to your drop in many different ways from the Share tab. You can set up email alerts so you'll be notified every time your drop is updated. Get an RSS feed of the content in the drop, receive podcast updates to your drop via iTunes, and more. Each file can be previewed on its own or viewed on its own page. You can share individual files by embedding them or by sending them to another existing drop, a mobile phone, or an email address. You can comment on each file. And of course, you can always download a copy of the original. Drops can be used in a whole variety of ways for exploring media sharing. You may want to explore the admin panel where you can customize the look and feel of your drop, change any setting, and even do things like set a physical location for your drop or have people pay to access your content. But that's another video for another day. For now, thanks for watching the tour and for checking out Dropio.